I've been asked to make one of these, not the whole thing, just that screw there. It's an adjusting screw for a tailstock on a pattern making lathe. Obviously not this one, it's the one that's been restored. The lad's in the drone for us. He's done the drone in metric, I'm sure it was originally imperial. Just straightforward enough piece of shaft, some threads on there, a square on there and a collar on there and a corresponding nut. I think the nut needs to be bronze. Shaft steel, I've got a super bit of steel. That's for a 12mm thread on there. 30 mil is it would be of that part. I've got some 30 mil round bar. The PC, I'm not sure it was originally four, but it has been turned down. It's got a centre hole in, so we'll just utilise that. Give us a chance to also check how straight the nails turn after we just did it last week. It looks pretty good. A little some white red test will make from it. I want to get a little bit further into the job. So now we've got a situation where the shaft is. Exactly the same size of both ends. And it would be the same size in the middle, aren't we? The laws of physics must have changed. And it is down to 12 mil, so it's down to size, pretty for some threads. I don't know what sort of steel this is, but it's horrible. It's not machined very nice at all. It's just ordinary male steel. Nothing, nothing fancy. I'm going to screw cut this thread and then run a die down which it's been screw cut there to size. This is a 175 pitch and I did find out that a 175 pitch is a bit of a bastard on this lathe. It means it can't disengage the lead screw. I'm going to reverse the lathe which is a little bit of a pain but it's not the, it's not the end of the world. I'll put a bit cut on and then Make sure we are cut the 175 pitch. Spot on. This 
this is probably on the limit for using the travel and steady or not uh, for pushing away and flexing because if I run a die down it will be able to get away with it The fact that the layer's got a clutch on it makes it a lot easier. It's getting very near now, that's it, the standard 12mm nut, 12x175, which starts just but won't go on. I think now I'm going to die down there to clean it up. That die is set in its fully out position, so it should cut a tight thread, if anything. You won't be tempted to try and hold the die stock by hand, it's not a good idea. Yeah, that's just nice. Nice tight fit in there, which means when I come to make the block, I can just use a tap to cut the thread. Quite a nice sharp, clean thread. Right, this end is going to be threaded 8mm. I've got an 8mm die nut on there. The drone actually said nine any thread but there's no nine mil threads really so I took a decision to make it eight. But two we have 40 collets. There's always the size I want is in that collet on the milling machine. Anyway. These belly and handles, ER spanners, will probably be available in the next week or two. They're good because the bell end means your hand won't slip off when you're using it. It'll also come with an AR32 variety. This end needs to be 13mm square, so I'm going to turn it down to 16mm round 
and then put a square on in the middle machine. Bang with tooling's doing all right. Passing it to the same as the other side, and I'll just polish that with some memory tape when it's eventually finished. I'll cut this off the length now. There's no weight on that tailstock centre, it's just there just to have a little bit of support. Centre hole in the end of there. It's just handy to have a centre hole in case I've got to repair it or remachine it. You can also look support. That simply goes up against that collet like that. I'm not going to turn it until we get the four flat machine done. I think we've got a little cut out to do this with. The first thing you need to do is find the centre. A friend of mine came with a good idea. He says once you've found the centre, why not scrape a line up the centre of the collet block? So is it a good idea to me? Right. and that gives you the centre there'll be a reason why I need to find the centre I'm not going to quite think what it is at the minute anyway we have found it but we don't, we don't need to find the centre of that because we're all going to drill a hole we're going to machine it flat you silly Billy but it was all, it's all good practice I still haven't marked that. I 
I'm going to set them a stop on the table so this middle cutter just touches just touches that shoulder just whispering it there and that's a stop down there right so we can't go too far it's just going to whisper it which is just what I want right we need these 13 mil square it's now 16 so we'll take a mil and a half per flat that should give us a 13 mil square and then we'll gently It's always crazy to turn it off because you don't really want to get your hand in there to not do any favours. Doing that one, if we do that one, then it means we can measure and make sure all it, it's 13mm, which I'm pretty sure it will be. Twelve ninety seven will certainly do for me. Right, back in the lane, I just want to shunt for that edge just to make it look like somebody actually cares carefully Right, that's the first part done, it's turned out quite nicely. It wasn't the best material in the world, the machine, I don't know what it was, it's something I've been given. And that's where it's going to go. That's that bit there, that's the only, only part you see. I think it's going to look quite nice. I will get some pictures of this when it's actually installed and the machine is restoring. But I think for the minute. That's it done. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do just click the subscribe button. It does make a big difference. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bastard. That's how we snap a portal tool. A clumsy bastard.